Good morning, kids. Good morning, kids. Oh, I'm not Mr. Bailey. Mr. Bailey, that is a compliment to you, I think. <laughs> I'm Bernard. Let's try that again. Good morning, kids. Mr. Bailey, there you go. We'll work on that one. We'll, I'm still called Mr. Baxter sometimes at school as well. G'day, Tim. How are you, mate? Good to see you. Uh, boys and girls, uh, what is today? Give me an answer. What's today? Yes. Law, so it's the last day of the year. We're just about to finish the year. What year is this? 2023, which means tomorrow is the first day of? And you know what, you can go home at morning tea and say to everyone as you say goodbye, see you next year, and it's true. So we've just finished one year. How many days in a year, does anyone know? Yes, Brody? Two days in a year, not quite. Mr Bennett? 365. But this next year is a different year, isn't it? It's a leap year. How many days in that year? 366. And there's something happening in Paris the Olympics, all those things. So we've got to get ready for 2024. We've got to get ourselves organised. We've got to ask, what do I need to get through this year? And so I thought during this week, I might work out what I need for the year. I live in Narrabri, so I need my brand new Christmas hat because the sun is always shining. I'll need that. And because I wear my hat, I'll be able to play at little lunch, big lunch, recess, morning tea because you need a hat at school. Is that right? You don't need a hat at school. You do need a hat at school and you need a school uniform and you need everything that goes with school. Uh, because it's warm, you'll also need a water bottle and you'll need a lunchbox because people get thirsty and people get hungry. That's not my lunchbox, okay? I just want to point that out. My lunchbox is much bigger. And you need everything that goes with that and that means you'll also need money. Don't worry about taking my wallet because my wallet is empty, but you'll get money because you work, as you do chores at home, as you get pocket money. And when you do all of those things, you might be at school, you might be... Next year's looking really complicated. There's a lot of stuff to get ready for next year. Okay, There are a lot of days to cover, 366 days, and you'll need stuff for every one of those days. But I want to make it really simple for you. I want to tell you that you only need one thing, one thing for the next year, Okay, and this is the thing. Christmas. Oh, listen, we're working up to it. I like it. Already 367 days to go. No, you don't need Christmas, but we're getting there, aren't we? Because Christmas is when Jesus is born, and Jesus is all about this word. Can anyone say this word? All right, what was that word again? Wisdom. Wisdom. Now, it's a really big word, and it means something really simple. It means understanding how the world works, understanding why things happen, understanding how you're meant to live in it. All you need for the next year is wisdom, and this is where you're going to get it. What's this? What is it? A Bible. And in the Bible is all you need for the next 366 days. Everything there that you need for understanding the world and understanding how to live in it. Now, in the Bible, there are lots of words. Hands up here who can read. All right, so you guys have all just caught yourselves out. You have no excuse for not opening this book because you can read it. Okay, hands up here who can't read. All right, now I'm looking at some of these faces here and do you know what, I know something about your parents. Do you know what your parents can do? They can read. And so you can grab this off the bookshelf every day of the week and you can tap on mummy or daddy or even your older brother or sister and say, hey, can you read the Bible with me? Okay, and do you know what, do you want to turn around and look at this mob out here? Okay, there are over 120 people who can read. And if you want to read the Bible, you could probably tap one of them on the leg at morning too and say, hey, could you meet with me during the week to read the Bible? In fact, I know a group of eight and nine-year-old girls who meet every Saturday to read the Bible. At eight and nine. So all you need for the year ahead is what? What was it again? Can you remember what was it? Wisdom. And where are you going to find wisdom? In the Bible. And all you've got to do is open it. We're going to hear a bit more about that in a moment. I'm going to pray. Then we're going to hear about wisdom. You're going to grab some kid sheets and we're going to learn more about what we need for the next 366 days. Let me pray. Dear God, thank you for the year that we've had. Thank you for the year that's coming. Thank you that you've given us all we need for the next 366 days in the Bible. Wisdom. Father, help us to open your word, read your word, understand it and live your word, and help us to help each other to do that. In Jesus' name, 
Amen.